Greetings, all praise the King. Presenting another bootleg production to thwart the Grease Monkey. Advice on countering the Grease. Let the eye know your reward will be great. We start in the US. Fire officials have said that California's biggest wildfire on record is expected to burn for the rest of the month. The Mendocino complex is two fires burning about 120 miles north of San Francisco. Persistent hot and dry weather have helped it grow to its unprecedented size. The Mendocino complex fire has already engulfed an area bigger than the size of New York. It's a huge fire about 90 miles north of San Francisco and burning completely out of control. Yeah, you know, the fire started a whole week ago. It burned in a pretty controlled manner until late last week when Thursday night it it generated this enormous fire tornado. So it continues to pose challenges to fire crews. Meanwhile, triple digit weather, extremely low humidity, and gusty winds continue to complicate the fight further north near the city of Reading, where the car fire has been burning for more than two weeks. And the prediction is that there's more to come. It's going to get worse, and they don't expect to be on top of it. Much hotter, much faster. Uh, and, and just in terrain that's really difficult, really rocky terrain, really difficult for firefighters to get a handle on this. According to the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection, barely a third of it is under control. So like you said, it's, it's they don't expect firefighters to be able to put it out. So a, a really dramatic impact on people uh, is affecting day-to-day -day life. Uh, 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 now, this is one of 18 major places that firefighters are tackling across the state. You know, like you said, there's lots of other massive wildfires burning in Northern California. And a lot of places where these fires are happening are rural, and there are also uh, places where there's a lot of income inequality and poverty, not a lot of great jobs, a lot of fear um, of what they're going to do, do now. Yeah, so it's all is sort of used to dealing with fire. This is kind of a new normal. The Golden State is truly facing a new normal when it comes to wild and fire events. With extreme weather events becoming the new normal, fires are now part of our ordinary experience. To this new normal. These kind of fires are now the new normal. New normal? A new normal, but California just has to expect this. And what that means for how human beings respond to wildfires in the future. The new normal to the general public means one thing, but... Uh, there's also a lot of people volunteering and just trying to get this community back to normal. You know, shelters are full. People question, what's the forecast in the next couple of days? Any, any relief in sight? Not really. It's going to stay very hot. It's supposed to be 108 today. Triple digits are expected until Sunday. Um, there, the humidity will be slightly higher. That may help firefighters. Um, but there's a chance that this that this behavior where the fire sort of takes control and moves unexpectedly and blows out of control, that could happen again. California fire officials say the Pawnee fire is only 5% contained. Part of one of the United States' most popular national parks, Yosemite in California, is closed because of an approaching wildfire that's been raging for more than 10 days. The most popular part of Yosemite National Park, uh, Yosemite Valley and the surrounding areas. Big sense in the valley, it was super smoky. Like, it got, there were points where it was like hard to see. Like Extreme smoke, the sun rose this morning, a deep orange color. Air quality is really bad. All campsites and hotels in Yosemite Valley and Wawona will shut on. And park officials said yesterday it's going to be closed indefinitely. It's not safe for visitors to be driving on the road because not only do you have firefighters and firefighting equipment, but you've got the potential, of course, of fire. <laughs> The speed with which the fires took hold seems to have taken everyone by surprise, including the authorities. Very strong winds meant wildfires spread lightning fast in multiple locations across the Attica region, both east and west of Athens. One of the worst hit areas was Mati, on the coast to the northeast of the capital, a resort area popular with families. The flames bore down on the town so fast Residents ran from their houses to the sea. This man says that the flames chased us all the way to the water, burning our backs as we dived in. Coast Guard vessels.
vessels and local boats rescued almost 700 people from the sea. But with the smoke clearing today, there was an eerie silence. And the charred remains of hundreds of cars stuck in great long traffic jams. People were trying to escape by road in a state of panic. We saw dead people inside their cars. We saw dead people in their yards. We saw dead people on the streets. Death is everywhere here. They couldn't live, you know, with this wind and the fire coming from every direction. It was impossible. And no one, no one could save them. The biggest single tragedy seems to have befallen a group of 26 people, some of them children, trying to make it to the sea. They were caught by the fire in a field just 30 meters from the coast. Their bodies were found huddled together.